Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we will show you how to dynamically test stop on contact constraints. Next, we will show you how to set up a dynamic simulation. And finally, we will review how to analyze that simulation. The first thing that we're going to do is show you that our design currently violates the plate. As we drag that down, you can see it's violating the part. So from here, what we're going to do is set up a stop on contact constraint. In this case, it will be a sphere on plane. First, we'll select the rigid group we want to apply it to. This group, to that group, centering on that, the diameter of the sphere will be 15, and then the reference plane will be this one. From here, we can dynamically test that new constraint. All we need to do is drag the model, and you can see it's stopping when it comes in contact with that face. From here, we'll go ahead and set up a dynamic simulation. To do this, we just need to choose the scenario we want to apply it to. Next, we're going to set up a measurement, in this case, a force measurement. We'd like to measure the force of that group against that contact. And now, we just have to apply that measurement to a specific simulation. So we're going to apply that force measurement to that simulation by simple drag and drop. Now we'll recalculate. And then finally, we'll show you how to analyze the results of this. Let's graph it out. In Top Solid 7, you can make good decisions based on hard facts.